it's Jessica and today's video I am super excited about because it is a video all about Taylor Swift. I decided to do the Swifty tag which I found online and I'm super excited about it. It's basically I think like 30, 35 questions about Taylor that I'm going to be answering. As most of you know I have been a fan of Taylor's for like six years now which is a really long time and um, basically I've just kind of grown up with her in my life so I'm super excited to be doing this tag. So let's go ahead and get started with the question. The first question is what was your first impression of Taylor? I thought that she was beautiful and she just seemed like a really nice and genuine person and her voice was really good and I loved her song. What was the first Taylor song that you ever heard? Um, the first song that I ever heard was Love Story and You Belong With Me. My friend showed me the music videos for those and I like instantly fell in love with Taylor and just how perfect and adorable she was. What is your favorite music video? Oh my goodness, that is such a hard question. There are so many. So, love story because it's one of the first ones that I saw and it was the reason that I fell in love with Taylor. The 22 music video because it's literally just perfection. Out of the Woods just recently came out and I think that that music video is so perfect, so visually like metaphorical and it has like aspects from like Clean and I Know Places and Out of the Woods like together and the end of it when she lost him, she found herself and somehow that was everything that's just amazing and I think the whole concept of the video is really beautiful so probably that one too what is your favorite Taylor song oh my goodness that is not a fair question you can't ask that question they're all just too perfect where was your first Taylor Swift concert it was actually the first concert that I ever went to it was in Indianapolis at the Conseco Fieldhouse and I saw her on the Speak Now tour. That concert was just so amazing and it really made me a Swifty. I did not expect her to have a huge production. I just kind of expected her to have a guitar and sing. I didn't really know what her concerts were like and then I got there and there was like a set and costumes and everything. It was just amazing. And I got to touch her hand when she walked by me and oh my gosh, yes, that's me with the yellow shirt on. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was so great, and uh, that concert was just amazing. How many Taylor Swift concerts have you been to? I have seen her five times, which is crazy. I'm so thankful. I got to see her once on the Speak Now tour, and then twice on Red and 1989, and oh my gosh, they were all perfect, and I just, I love her concerts so much. When did you become an official Swifty? Um, I became a Swifty in 2010 during the Fearless era, and uh, I don't know, it just changed my life forever favorite dress she's worn. I honestly have never actually like hated something that she's worn. Um, I really love the one that she wore on the Speak Now tour for Love Story and 15. What is your favorite lyric? Some of my favorites, the rest of the world is black and white, but we were in screaming color. Someday I'll be living in a big old city and all you're ever gonna be is mean. Cause darling, I'm a nightmare, dressed like a daydream. Hey, you called me up again just to break me like a promise, so casually cruel in the name of being honest. Which song do you relate to the most? Um, probably Mean and Shake It Off because Mean really helped me when I was younger when that song first came out because I didn't have a lot of friends and it was just a really hard time. People weren't exactly being the nicest to me so that song really helped me get through that and then Shake It Off Now just because like you have to just learn not to care what people think about you and really just be yourself and that song is just like a fun way to put that and dance around too and just like be carefree and not care what anyone else says just be yourself what do you hope and wish for for the next album i just hope that it's something that taylor's proud of i hope that um the songs are all like lyrically as good as they have been for every single other album which i know will probably be the case um, I hope that it's something that everyone can relate to. I hope that it's more of like a happy album because, I mean, she's dating Calvin now and hopefully there's just like some happy love songs on there. What is your opinion on her lucky number, which is 13 if you didn't know? 13 is an amazing number and it's my lucky number too and it's perfection. What album is your favorite? Oh my goodness, I love all of them. They're really all like amazing. What is your least favorite music video? Probably the last time because I felt like that song could have had like an amazing video to it because the song is so good 
but they just did a tour video of them performing it, which I mean, it's still fine, but like, I don't know, I just feel like that song could have had a really good music video. What is a song that you wish had a music video? I wish New Romantics had a music video because I feel like that could just be amazing. Do you miss her cowboy boots and curly hair? Of course, but I feel like it'd be weird if she's still wearing them because she's 26. So I do miss them, but I feel like that she's grown up, so it's okay that she's not wearing them anymore, but that was just good times. What is your favorite quote? Um, I really like the Speak Now quote that they had at the tour. I really like um, she lost him, but she found herself, and somehow that was everything. And then I really like if you're lucky enough to be different, never change. What is a song that you want to hear live? I really wanted to hear You Are In Love live and do like the whole echo part and everything, but she sang 15 at both of my Nights 99 shows. Didn't get to hear it and I was kind of sad, but still 15 is an amazing song, so. Do you like her hair straight or curly? I really like it short and like kind of wavy. I think that that is beautiful and I think that's my favorite. Do you own any merchandise? Yes, I do. I have a lot of t-shirts. I have a lot of posters, I have all of her CDs, um, and I just have like other like knickknack merchandise because she's perfect. Have you met Taylor? No. I really hope that someday I do get to meet her just to like hug her and have a picture with her and just to thank her for everything, like that would mean the world to me and I really hope that it gets to happen someday. What would you say to her right now? Um, I just thank her for influencing my life so much and having such a great impact on it. Um, I'd give her a really big hug. Um, I don't even know what I'd say. I feel like I'd forget to say so much if I was like with her. I'd feel like I'd be like so like, oh my god, I'm Taylor Swift is like right there. But I just wouldn't get to say everything that I wanted to say, which is kind of sad, but favorite outfit that she's worn. Her style is way too perfect to choose one outfit. I love the outfit that she wore in New York about a year ago. She wore purple jeans and a like tan coat and it was just really really pretty and then I also love the pink crop top and skirt that she wore last summer in New York and then I also love the outfit that she wore it was a white dress that had like a floral like midsection that was like lace and then she wore like a t cream colored cardigan with it who should she do a duet with Selena Gomez that would be amazing um She's another one of my favorite artists, and if they like had like a song together, that would be amazing. Where do you wish in the world that Taylor would tour? Um, I mean, she always comes near me in a couple different places, so I get to see her. But I wish that she'd tour in some places that she hasn't toured in a while, like South America and a little bit more in Europe, just so like people who haven't been able to see her live before get the chance to. How has she impacted your life? She has impacted my life so much. Um, I mean, she's been in my life for six years, and she's just taught me to be myself and to not care what people think, and just, she's made me a better person, and I'm really grateful for that. What was your favorite Fearless Tour performance? Um, uh, the Should Have Said No Rain performance. That's just the most coolest thing ever, and then also forever and always. What was your favorite Speak Now Tour performance? Probably Love Story, because it was just so cool how she flew over everyone, and she flew over me, and it was just crazy. Favorite Red Tour performance? Probably Stay, 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 Sparks Fly, and everything has changed. That's more than one, but I don't care. What was your favorite performance on the 1989 tour? Probably A Near Trouble, Enchanted in Wild Streams mashup, and Out of the Woods, because those so like remixes of the original songs were just like my life. The last question, on a scale of 1 to 13, how much do you love her? 13 million. <laughs> No, but I really do love her a lot, so. So that is all of the questions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm super sorry if it's, like, really long, but I can talk about Taylor for forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be amazing if you could give this video a thumbs up for me. And then if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you should totally subscribe because I post videos every single weekend, or at least I'm trying to post videos every single weekend, and I've been pretty good about it. So if you guys want to answer these questions, then you should answer them in the comments below. So I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in another video next weekend. Bye! I can't pick one for that either. That's too hard. These questions are too hard. Every one. Every single one of them. I honestly love all of her dresses. Ooh, that's so hard. Look who came to say hi! It's not today!
it really just made me a Swifty. I have cat hair on my face. <laughs> I have cat hair on my face. No, I didn't love Taylor.